made many, many miracles happen um, with the Nityanand Doham 1008. Actually, even before I got here, um, I met Swamiji for the first time in 2009. And um, during one of the darshans, I had asked Swamiji, in this lifetime, will I know you as me? And he said, yes, Ma, you will. So um, then uh, going forward a few years, um, I was... Uh, talking with a friend and uh, he was planning on coming to the Nityanand Doham and but was hesitant so we were uh, talking and reminiscing about past experiences we had in the LBE and I had no intention whatsoever of coming here and um, so then what happened was uh, we uh, were watching the satsang and uh, were watching the glimpses and then they showed the demo the video for the Nityanand Doham and um, Swamiji said, in this process, you will experience me as you. And I thought, oh my God, I asked Swamiji then in 2009. Swami is calling me back. <laughs> so uh, then uh, I decided, uh, yes, I'm going. I have no clue how I'm going to do it. There were several obstacles. Um, and um, so I got my plane ticket and um, needed more testing, more testing <laughs> to uh, test my uh, intensity. And so what happened was uh, actually five hours before the start of the program, uh, Swamiji made it happen for me, the breakthrough. So it was quite an incredible experience. Um, now the other, uh, there's so many miracles, I don't even know where to start, but um, one uh, physical miracle that has happened for me is uh, for about, uh, I think for about 10 years or so, I've had these um, crazy rashes that I get from heat. And uh, when I wear anything that is not gold or silver, my skin just breaks out. So when I, even when I came here, uh, it was, it's pretty warm here, so I start sweating and already my face was getting itchy and little blisters were happening. My face was starting to swell. I thought, oh my God, no, here we go again. Because usually it takes about three to four weeks for it to settle down. And uh, the other thing is that um, I can hardly ever wear my bracelet, the one that Swami gave, because the moment I put it on, um, I, I break out. So, um, <clears throat> so then uh, what happened a few days into the program, Swami was working on our muscle and uh, bio memory, and we, uh, were, uh, we were writing down the powers that we wanted to experience, the possibilities we wanted to experience. And I thought, enough of these allergic reactions, like I've, I've had it. So one of the possibilities that I wrote down was to be completely free of any allergies. And literally within a few days, the swelling went down my face, the blisters disappeared, and uh, I've been wearing my bracelet blissfully, um, and uh, no rash, nothing, nothing at all. So, and actually I got another bracelet, so now I can wear two happily. So thank you so much. Thank you, Swamiji, I'm deeply grateful. Uh, my journey to Nityanand Doham has been more or less like a roller coaster for me. Uh, I was introduced to Swamiji sometime in January when my friend showed me a couple of videos and when she was at her eye, I made a lot of fun of her. I was like, what have you got yourself into? And it's only when I saw his videos, I was like, okay, you know what, this guy makes sense. Let's go and see what he's all about. And I decided to go for the May Inner Awakening. But it did not work out because my parents didn't give me permission for, for that and they didn't believe in Swamiji. And I had taken blessings from Swamiji for the DIA. I did go for Kaltaru. I had a wealth placement session with me. And even after all this didn't work out, I was a little disappointed. I wonder why it didn't happen for me when everyone says, oh, you've got his blessing, it's going to happen. He said at the Tastu. And it's only after that I disconnected myself completely from him. I was like, Swamiji is not meant for me and no other guru is meant for me. And after that is when I disconnected from him and I found my seeking come alive. Some I had all these questions come up for absolutely no reason, having a five to six month disconnect, I still thought of him for answers. I have made a lot of friends here. This is like my family. Swamiji has been a great, a great presence around me. And the day I decided, and the day, the day I took the decision to come here is when I realized how Swamiji has made everything really easy for me. Uh, I had actually booked Thailand tickets sometime in August with a, with a couple of friends to come here for a holiday. So when I called the airline to change it for Andaman, they said, I'm sorry, it's not going to be possible. You need to cancel it. We won't be able to refund any money. You need to buy a new ticket. 
The next day, I see post that the program has shifted to Thailand. I'm like, okay, money saved, perfect. <laughs> then I had made non-refundable hotel bookings for Thailand, and 10, 15 days before the program, and I was really disappointed. I was like, oh my god, my money's going to go waste here. I get an email from the hotels saying that they are giving me a free cancellation on non-refundable bookings. And I was like, okay, this is a sign of acceptance. I am going. I am definitely going to go for Nityanand Doha. And I came here with a few expectations, and I came here looking for certain answers. But what I realized when I came here is that my expectations were just the surface. And there is so much more beneath all of us, beneath all these layers, that it is only he who can express your true identity, who can reveal things to you that you don't even know about yourselves. It was during one of the biomemory processes that I found answers and I found a lot of clarity. Uh, and it is, through, it is during that process, that after that process, that I saw certain changes in my behavior and personality. And all I had to do was drop everything at Swamiji's feet. And um, it is since, um, another thing that I really, really want to thank Swamiji about is bringing me closer to Hinduism, even though I am a Hindu. I always ran away from it since childhood, even when I was growing up. My parents would take me to the temple, I would run away. I would stand outside the temple, but I would never go in. And it's just after coming here that I have found so much connect, so much deep love for Shiva, for my roots, for my culture, that I just want to do everything that I can in my power to help Swamiji reach global levels. And I request everyone out there who are seeking, who are looking for answers, this is the right place for you to be. Don't waste any more time. Come on on the next Inner Awakening, any program that you can. Just make it happen and Swamiji will be there for you. Thank you. Nityanandam, uh, first I would like to offer our sincere gratitude to Swamiji for bringing all of us here, not only my family, but 700 other fellow travelers in this huge, <laughs> massive 700-seater uh, Nityanandam 1008 flight. Right. So I would like to share two of uh, the mystical experiences I had uh, during these processes. Like uh, when Swamiji put us in this bio, uh, bio memory awakening process, at one point of time, I, I kind of went into a deep silence and then started hearing the, the Pranava Mantra on the back of somewhere like I did not know where I am and I could see complete darkness and then I heard this Om sound like in, in a slow, in a melodious voice, going continuously. Then I, I kind of um, uh, got scary and then opened my eyes, but I could see Swamiji was chanting the Shiv, Shiv, Shiv continuously and no music was playing. Then again I went, I closed my eyes, then I could still hear it. I, I heard it for a very long time. And, uh, I, and in one of the sharing sessions, I guess, uh, one of our fellow participants also asked the same question. They also had the same experience. And Swamiji said that is uh, the pure unclutching experience that you all experience, right? It is unbelievable and I have never, never experienced anything in my life like that. And uh, the other, uh, on the following day when Swamiji initiated us with the, with the Atmalinga, so we put the Atmalinga on our Anya Chakra and after some time, I felt like I did not have that Atmalinga in my hand. I, it, it, I felt like it was either melting or going inside me. And I even told uh, my, um, uh, the, the, the people sitting right next to me, I uh, said like, hey, I feel like, I felt like it was going inside me, you know. So the, it, it completely melted and, and I felt that oneness, right? When Swamiji said, you feel the oneness and that is the, the, the great experience. I thought I would share it here, right? And uh, apart from all these mystical experiences, we all offer our gratitude, puja, and everything to Swamiji. But to experience the selfie sessions and uh, uh, the, uh, Swamiji taking us to the beaches, like dinner, having dinner with us, and not only that, but caring every one of us, right? Like right from the accommodation, food, everything. This, this shows how much the master loves us. 
apart from how much we love him, it, it, the, the love of the master, uh, I, I'm, I'm so uh, glad that 700 of us could experience the love of the master, which is priceless. Right? So um, that is the greatest experience I will carry along with me throughout my life. Thank you. That was a great presentation of the glimpses of my Nityananda Oham. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Ma, for having this.